Hey, it's Voss. I'm here with Tails, and you're watching the Tails Coin YouTube channel, a sub channel of the Voss Coin channel. We're going to have more in depth tutorials, interviews, and other crypto content that doesn't quite fit on the Voss Coin channel. Today, we're going to be showing you how to set up your How Long Mining Dragomit T1 Bitcoin Miner. So like I just said, we're on the Tails Coin channel, which is our latest branch off of the Voscoin YouTube channel. So make sure to click that subscribe button, even if you already subscribed to Voscoin. So let's jump right into it. Let's set up the Dragon Mint T1 Miner. Obviously, step one, you're going to need to get your unboxing on. After you have it unboxed and you have a power supply that is going to be sufficient, which is going to be a big power supply, I'd recommend just using their recommended one because, well, if it doesn't work, then uh, that's on them. Make sure to plug in all 10 PCI connections before you turn it on. Make sure every connection is seated properly. If you're using a dual power supply setup, always make sure that the board powers on before the hash board. So this is the control board and these are the hash boards. After that, it's as simple as just plugging the power supply into a power source. The miner will boot up and you also don't forget your ethernet cable so that it's getting internet access. After that, you'll need to find your IP address. There's a lot of ways to do this, but the simplest way is to simply log into your router. Once you log into your router for me, I click on attached devices and this is going to give a readout of some of my attached devices, aka wired. With that, we need to find Dragonman. It's going to generate an IP address within your network. You're going to grab that IP address, paste it into your browser, and then you'll be able to log in. The login standard by default, which is pretty important because they don't include a sheet in the box telling you this, it is on the setup video on their site listing. So the default login is going to be admin and then Dragon admin. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to your miner status page. You'll be able to see the uptime, the hash rate, how many shares have been submitted, how many shares rejected, your hardware errors, and what the current fan speed on the miner is running at. Higher fan speed equals more noise. Also, ideally, you should be keeping the rig a little bit cooler. Down here, we can see our pool status. We can see we are uh, properly connected to slush pool by this alive sign, and you know, it has all our info right there and it is unable to connect or the pool is down with via BTC, which I'll get to in a second. Down here, we can see our minor info. This is gonna show our hash boards. The T1 has three hash boards in it. With those three boards, we can see their status. If one board goes offline, you know, AKA breaks, what the accepted hash rates for it and any hardware errors and what the individual temperature of that board is. Next you'll click on settings and then click on pools and this is how you're actually going to connect your miner to a mining pool and actually start making some money. So we're going to need our URL. This is going to vary pool to pool but this is the proper URL input for slush pool. I have it pasted in the description as well. You're going to need to log into slush pool and create a username as well as a worker name. Not mandatory but it helps to keep track of your stuff. Your password can be anything so I put anything we've always had great success with slush pool no we're not paid by them never received a penny from them we just like the pool and mainly the dashboard if you check out this dashboard tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing around look at all these readouts i've actually been switching stuff around recently so our scoring hash rate is off and we also got the how long miner today but you can see our hour hash rate is 21 terahash five minutes 16 and day is going to be 15 terahash you see all time rewards current confirmed unconfirmed we've had a gap since we sold our ant miner s9 you can see the the blocks found on this pool and you can see your hash rate right here and all kinds of other good stats absolutely big fan of it as far as connecting to other pools i'll have more information in the description below as that's a hot topic right now so bear with me on that one but this will absolutely get you up to speed mining away on bitcoin which i mean you bought a bitcoin miner you wouldn't want to mine those other coins right like you want to mine bitcoin right i hope so just saying that's really everything you have to do to get up to speed and running with your How Long Mining Dragomint T1 Miner. Current estimated profitability of it today, post on this video, April 13th, is about 10 bucks a day USD. And that's that. Make sure to check out our initial review on the T1 on our main Boss Coin channel. So that's that, guys. Make sure to subscribe to not only the Boss Coin channel, but also the Tails Coin channel, because we're going to be doing a lot of different stuff here. The Tails Coin channel is going to be mainly kind of like news, interviews, tutorials, whereas Boss Coin is going to kind of keep doing what it's been doing because apparently some, a couple people like it. All right, guys, hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.